Hello model car building community on YouTube. I'm the new kid on the block I guess you'd say. It's the first time I've ever tried making a video like this so please bear with me. Um, I am Jack from Jack in the Box Models. I've got a few special names here I'd like to mention that I've befriended in the community already. Um, and I'm having to hold this little tiny camera, so there again, bear with me. Uh, Sean at the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Tim at Throttle Power channel. Mark Batson at Hobby Dude 007 channel. Glenn at Model Cars with Glenn. Brian at BG's Model Workshop channel. And last but definitely not least is Steven at Scale Model Car Chief channel. Um, I've already commented on these guys channel they all done wonderful they do wonderful work I highly recommend checking them out if you haven't done so already they give a lot of uh, really neat tips and guides and how to's and um, as a matter of fact uh, without even posting a video yet I just uh, commented on uh, Steven's channel scale model car chief and uh, he was the first to, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, here I go again. What's the word I'm looking for? What? What's the word I'm looking for? Subscriber? Subscribe. He subscribed to my channel. See, I told you, fellas, I've... Uh, I've had some head trauma in my life, so please bear with me. But uh, I'm going to try to get through this. Were you hollering at me? Yes. That's my partner. Uh, she helps me a lot. Uh, I guess what I want to start out with is um, something I'm working on now. And there's a story behind everything I do. I'll try to make a short story long. Um, back in the 80s and 90s, I played in rock bands, country bands, different kinds of bands. And uh, one of the guitar players that was in my band gave me a model kit that he built. And it was a 1-8 scale IROC Camaro. No paint, just build with decals. And uh, back then I moved around a lot had different jobs and uh, my models just got left behind or trashed during moving around and everything so I really wanted to find that kid again I found one on Craigslist oh about a year ago I guess and uh, I live in Tennessee and I had to drive down to Alabama to get this car uh, he advertised it really cheap and I just you know, these things ain't cheap, 1-8 scale. You know what I'm talking about, guys. And I'm going to put the box up here. Hang on a second. Uh, the box is really ratted out. Uh, let me back up where you can see it. Um, it's dated 1985. I'm not sure what year the car is. I don't know if it's an 85, 86, 87. I don't know. They, all the IROCs kind of look alike to me. But this is what I'm working on. It's the first and probably only 1.8 scale I'll ever be able to do because they're so expensive. And I really want to go, go full Monty on this one. I want to do things that I've never done before in the hobby. And... Um, you know, I want to plumb it out. I want to um, put LEDs in it. Um, here's some parts and things that I've already got ready. I'm going to try to keep from making you guys dizzy if I can help it and operate my chair at the same time. Uh, here's the engine I've got started. Um, I just wanted to leave the engine block itself 
black. I want to be as original as I can. Look at the size of that thing. I've already did some uh, black washing on it. And uh, I want to make it as original as possible. I've been watching videos and stuff on these things to see what they look like under the hood. And is it going to let me zoom in a little? Maybe. Okay, I ain't worked this camera in a while either. And uh, so I got it ready for plug wires. Did a little black washing. There's the exhaust manifold, oil filter, oil plug. And there's the engine. Okay, here's uh, I've got the rear end together here. There's Lucy Lou wondering what Daddy's doing. What's Daddy doing, Lucy Lou? There's Lucy Lou. Say hi to everybody, Lucy Lou. <laughs> okay. Here's the rear end. Brake calipers. I want to get used to doing stuff through the camera. I'm not used to this, guys. This is my first time ever, okay? So just uh, bear with me. Um, I really like how these tires turned out. Look at this. I really like how these turned out. And uh, here's one of the rims I've already painted. And you can see there I've got the uh, I've got the uh, toothpick uh, valve stem there. And uh, let me get one of these rims. I kind of started putting things together before I should have and had to back up and regroup. Because, you know, as well as I do, whenever you're doing a custom kit, uh, you're doing things to it that isn't normally done, then... Uh, let me put this together and show you how it looks. You run into problems that you don't foresee. Yeah, that's going to be a... That's going to look pretty good, huh? Now, I don't know. My yellow line's running to the end of this camera. I don't know if it's going to stop here in a second or if... Or not. If so, there's going to be a... Definitely going to be a part two. Okay, there's the tread. I've already sanded it a little bit. Looks like I'm probably going to have to hit that again. Uh, but okay, there's what the wheels look like. Um, let me set this aside. Try to keep from making you guys dizzy as best as I can, okay? Um, now, let me go get my chassis. Lucy, you're going to have to look out, buddy. Here's the chassis I've gotten started on. Okay, it's got a uh, movable front end, and um, all this wire here, this is actually solder that I'm making um, the brake lines with. Now these little metal tabs you see here, this I'm cutting out of a soda can. Okay, well, let's try this again. Yeah, this kit, it, uh, it was complete. This is the first time I've ever done the uh, brake lines. Uh, most of my detailing is done with a paintbrush. Um, I, I am big on having 
the plug wires and that's about the extent of my my details and aftermarket stuff I, I just normally don't do I scratch build stuff um, nothing against aftermarket stuff it's just uh, I'm a uh, kind of an old old school modeler I do things on on the cheap budget and uh, you know rattle cans and and uh, and old testers glue that most everybody don't like anymore yeah I still got some of that and I gotta use it up before I get anything else okay um, so that's that um, of course I ain't much to tell about the underside really uh, I painted the uh, engine bay area semi-gloss black over primer rattle can uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Some people use it some people don't I found that the Rust-Oleum Rust works fine as long as you put at least two good uh, Coats of primer you need some good primer on it or else The paint will just eat right through and fish eye and do all kind of crazy stuff But I'm gonna set that aside I'll grab this body up here Hang on just a second. I'm coming on. Uh, I'm not a movie guy. I'm a model guy. Sorry. I, I just. Okay. So here's the body. Um, <clears throat> I definitely want to wire the battery. I think wiring batteries is, you know, that's something I'm big on too. Either painting or, or adding the wire itself. And uh, but I got big plans for this boy, and I'm gonna tell you something. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go together quick. Uh, you know, that's another thing. I, I'm one of these builders that I like to savor my bills. I don't like to try to get it done, and you know, in a, a quick video segment, and uh, and then move on to something else. I really like to uh, savor my bills. You know, like a like a, a fine steak or something uh, I've ha I haven't painted anything on this it's just been washed I have been man there was a real bad of course there was some some lines there here was a bad line a thick line on each side and I went after it with my Dremel which boogered it up pretty good so I'm gonna have to use some some bondo and uh, smooth that out work it down before I paint it there's another one over here I see that uh, you have to really be careful with those dremels too because the plastic will get hot and it'll actually melt it and that's kind of what I run into here but it can be repaired but it was a really thick mold line that went all the way down through here on both sides off this spoiler and uh, you know there was a couple of mold lines here and there and uh, yeah for the first time I'm going to be doing on the interior I'm going to be doing um, uh, for the carpet I'm going to be using one of those tea strainers and uh, what do they call that the flocking or whatever yeah I'm going to do that so uh there ain't much else to show here on this one um well hang on. Uh, let me put this up hang on just a second i have to move around the table and I've, I've got limited space actually but and then you got a kit that big you know it's, there's a uh, there's the original uh, construction sheet that came with it as you can see it's uh, pretty ratted up but 
one eight scale, man. I mean, it's like you want to talk about detailing. Really read it up there bad. But I've got enough here that I can work with. Um, as far as the decal sheet, I was really worried about this decal sheet, but I took and put a light coat of uh, gloss coat over it. And so far, so good. I used this one little decal right here and it worked perfectly fine so I'm hoping that the rest will turn out like that too and I, yeah the decal went on uh, right here on this uh, on this oil filter uh, I mean oil filter oil uh, knob thing here on top of the valve cover where you put the oil, that's actually the decal I cut out and glued right there. Can't really see what's what it says. Oil fill, that's what it says, oil fill. Okay. Uh, let me see what else I got here. Uh, I got loose parts, I got, I got treed parts. Some parts. There's some things that go on the hood. And it looks like I'm running out of time too. So, uh, but that's what I'm working on right now. And there's Don's, uh, uh, not Don, Glenn's missing part, the drive shaft. Pretty good size drive shaft there, ain't Glenn? Um, Here's some chrome parts. Oh yeah, on these chrome parts. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, this thing has actual keys. Oh, here they are, right by my hand. Look at this. Keys. It's like a door key and a, of course the focus ain't working too good. And a switch key. I'm gonna be painting, you know, the square part of those black. Probably semi-gloss. And I'm going to make me a little key ring for it too. So when I actually have the key in the ignition switch, it'll be on a key ring. And I don't remember how I was going to do that, but it'll come to me. Um, there's a radiator and front headlight bracket. There's part of the fan. I'll move these testers bottles back. Uh, let's see what we got here. The dash pad. There's the uh, armrest. Part for the steering wheel. Uh, inside the uh, where the door handles are. We got a cat over there going crazy too. Another part of the uh, radiator fan. Uh, let me put this aside and I'm just about out of time on this video again. I think I'm going to do, do like a third short part and then uh, wrap this thing up and give you guys something to chuckle about. Yeah. And we're back. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Pull my chair up. Oh, give me just a second. It's a heavy chair. Okay, here's the dash on my Z28. Yeah, that's going to be fun to detail right there. I really, it really don't, ain't going to require a whole lot of detail. At least I'm not going to do a lot of detailing. Uh, I want to make it as realistic as possible, so I will be doing a, a little bit of white around the switches and things of this nature, and um, 
probably going to mount the decals in from the rear and use the testers clear window maker to make the lens covers to go over the tops of it from the inside <coughs> steering wheel it's not going to require a lot of paint either uh, probably going to go flat on the inside flat black it's, it's already kind of semi-gloss black anyway uh, for the outside so I'm not going to do much there I already mounted the gear shift and uh, painted the little letters there next to it and a little wide on these two switches back here. I guess it's for the door locks or windows or something. I really wish this thing would focus better. Let me see. You know, I did this by hand. I didn't. This camera is not doing me justice, guys. Um. Like I said, I'm an old school builder. I do things by hand. I paint by hand. Markers I use very little of. Here's the starter. I've got it off because I've got a little pilot hole drilled right here because I'm going to have the hot lead coming off of the battery going to the starter. And uh, so here for the top front of the motor I painted that flat black that's the uh, air induction system um, this goes on top of the motor I did use a uh, a marker to paint those little black those little black spots you see there are actually bolt heads painted the bolt heads black and here it says tune port injection which I could not get to focus so just have to take my word for that um, I'll run a cable up to the side here there's a little cable that goes up to this it works I guess the throttle or something and I did that in like a gun metal um, here's another part of the uh, goes on top of the engine part of the intake system painted it silver There's part of the, I guess this is a tune port injection or whatever. I painted those silver. There's two of them. There's one. There's one. I'll try to keep these where, like I said, I'm new at this camera stuff, guys. I, I'm going to try. Try to keep it where you can see without it being so blurry. Uh, radiator hose and thermostat house and I've already black washed it a little and give it a little grimy look flat black on the hose now here's something right here man check out this pulley system are you kidding me man that thing was a blast putting together let me tell you it was in like one two three four four or five different sections that all had to be you know painted and glued together and I'm going to be running wires to you know like the alternator and the air conditioning pump and all that stuff like I said I'm going all out on this one because uh, it's the only 1 8 scale I'm probably ever going to get the opportunity to build uh, because they're so expensive you know I just to me, uh, $200 for a model kit, absolutely not. It's not going to happen. I got, I put, I paid 50 bucks for this one plus what I paid in gas going down to Birmingham and back. So I did the flat black on the pedals here. So it was worth it to me. Uh, Okay, here's the catalytic converter. I did it in like that gun metal and then silver on the pipes. And, uh, here's the exhaust. 
Let's see if I can do this without too much trouble. And uh, it's kind of like a It's like a two-part thing. Goes like this, and then the gas tank goes right here. That's that, and um, that's going to be about it for now, guys. I do want to uh, say uh, get back to. Uh, Mr. Steven uh, for uh, oh, what's the word again anyway I'm going to send Mr. Steven a prize for being my very first subscriber I'm feeling in the Christmas spirit uh, we hit it right off he was my first subscriber and I think he needs to be awarded a prize for that so probably tomorrow or i may send him an email tonight that's it see you guys so i hope everyone uh will find this entertaining and hit the like button and subscribe and all that good stuff and uh post any comments i'm gonna be looking at the comments and let's see let me get back here to my notes I can't remember anything guys I gotta make notes Steven at scale model car chief channel he's my first and only subscriber so far and so uh, I'm feeling in the Christmas spirit and I think he deserves a prize for that for friending me and uh, maybe if I stick around long enough and can improve on my camera skills uh, when I get to the 500th subscriber, I'll give away another prize. Until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you next time.